So it was something it's able to try out is the Huyon Canvas Pro 16 and I'm gonna do an unboxing and then do a bit of drawing and see how it works. Okay, let's check it out. Oh look at the cute monkeys on the box. That's so nice. And here we have the tablet. It seems to have a strong build. There's a protective file to peel off before you can use it. Oh, sorry, my phone last pop is there for a, for a while. Um, I will get back to the tablet later. Here's the instructions manual. Uh, there isn't a disk, but it tells you the link to the official site where you can download the drivers. And here is a cloth for cleaning your tablet. And a drawing globe, which you can use in case your hand gets stuck to the screen while drawing. Although some previous Huion pens need a battery you have to recharge, uh, this one doesn't need a battery to work, which I think is preferable. A donut shape pen holder. It also contains 10 replacement nibs for when your pen nibs get worn out and you can use this um, silver ring in the middle to pull out the nib from your pen. Here we have the cable. It can be adapted both for the USA version and the European one. This is the other cable which you have to connect to your computer. This is a pen display which means it doesn't work on its own. You still have to connect it to a computer. There's also an optional stand to put the tablet on. Mine, they didn't have it, but you can find it on the official site or you can get an official one instead. So here we have the plug with European setting in my case. And then we got this, the third cable goes into the tablet. In this model, the cable placement is to the side, which keeps it more out of the way of your movements. Once we have installed the drivers, if the tablet is operative, the light will go from red to yellow to green. So here you make sure your tablet is working. If it's gray, it means it's not working. If it's blue, it means it's installed properly. Here in this window, we can set up the shortcuts for both the pen and the buttons you can find at the side of the tablet. Each one of these can be a shortcut. These ones, and we, you can use these to zoom in or zoom out. It's kind of like touch. You can use this one to set up the screen brightness um, and the colors and things like that. So here you can see the surface is matte. Um, it's pleasant, it's not glossy, so it's, it doesn't have much of a reflection from above at all. Okay. The screen is laminated, which reduces the parallax. And here you can see how the pen tip connects right to the line, which means more accuracy. And you can also see the pen sensitivity and how it changes in one single stroke. The nib has both pen pressure and tilt sensitivity. With tilt sensitivity, the brush shape can change depending from how you tilt the pen. Uh, this of course works just if the brush you're using allows you to do that. For example, some Photoshop brushes. The surface of the tablet doesn't have a whole lot of texture, it's very smooth, so if that's not your thing, you might have to get an additional foil to put on top of it. I'm a regular drawing tablet user, so I don't pay too much attention uh, to this kind of thing. But if you're used to drawing traditionally, you might want to add uh, an extra bit of texture to it. Also, I think this tablet size is very comfortable because it's not too small, but also it's not huge, which would take up a lot of workspace and maybe you would have to rearrange the placement of your things on your table. Um, 
in this size you can even keep it on your legs if you want <laughs> so in conclusion i would say this is a good product the colors seem good i never had a pen display before so i can't exactly compare it to other models or other brands but yeah i think my main issue here would be uh, the shortcut buttons which have stopped working a few times uh, and I had to restart my computer also the power up button is a bit too close to the shortcut so you might click it accidentally and turn off your tablet and if you change from one program to the other for example from paint tool side to photoshop you won't be able to set up multiple shortcuts for the same buttons so you won't be able to use them for both programs without reassigning each button to a new shortcut. But uh, I guess you can always keep a hand on your keyboard instead. Also setting up the resolution might be a bit tricky, especially if your monitor doesn't have the same resolution as the pen display. For example, right now, um, since I'm using the laptop, which has a lower resolution, I had to manually adjust the laptop's resolution to match the tablet which means if i have to look up from the tablet and onto the laptop uh, the laptop screen will look a bit blurry or just not exactly the best because it's not the intended resolution for my screen and once i disconnect the tablet i will have to manually readjust the laptop's resolution to the one it had before and then back again when I connect the tablet once more. The screen tends to get a little warm after a few minutes of using it. It's not extremely warm. It might be a little uncomfortable for somebody, I guess. So this would be the main things. I never did a review before. Um, I hope this was helpful for somebody. Uh, thank you for watching.